So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you so much. So hi everyone, today we will be talking about my past data science interview ex experiences and we will try to understand what are different types of questions getting asked in these interviews. So let's get started. So basically before giving interviews, there was a week that I spent on preparing the basic machine learning, charge, deep learning, SQL stuff and nothing, no major preparations around CP and all. Uh, is going unprepared making you lose chances? Uh, definitely yes, but I think you won't be 100% prepared anyway. And also I believe that like we should be prepared throughout the interview process. So once you get that knife hanging on you that you have an interview day after tomorrow, I think that when the real preparation starts, at least for me, right? Uh, so basically a couple of things to know is that more uh, nearly 50 to 60 percent of the interviews were around my project so i think you should be thoroughly well versed with that apart from the tools that are getting used uh talking about the cv i won't be talking much as i think uh, all you all must be experienced guys but one thing i would be mentioning is there is a website called as resume worded that i use which is pretty good tells you about what issues are there in the cv and how you can improve it but this is on gen uh, it's a gen generic suggestion not specific to data science so once i cleaned up my cv and went to the basic preparation i start applying so how to apply i think i have been using linkedin only for my previous two jobs also so i would be suggesting you to go for linkedin only uh, on linkedin also you can go with direct pings to managers and recruiters it used to work during internships but uh, when i was trying to move it didn't work out this time so not a great idea linkedin jobs i do get calls from linkedin jobs on applying people say they don't get it but i think it works in my case and linkedin referrals so i think you must be seeing posts from some guy that we are looking for uh, hiring in that case i think uh, you might get referred as well i got a chance in my current company because of these referrals only apart from that i did receive a number of uh, calls from because i had a active profile on nokri.com angelist hires etc so I'll be talking about the interview process from some of the major names uh, in the Indian ecosystem like Swiggy, Blinkit, Cast24, Ola, LinkedIn and my current organization. So talking about the basic uh, process, how our journal structure looks like. So mostly every interview started off with either a hacker rank test or a data science problem statement. Like they usually give you a problem statement with data set and eventually ask you to give, come up with a solution in some days. The second out are usually around machine learning based like asking the basic stuff and I think I haven't faced any deep learning uh, rounds yet I think uh, apart from a couple of them they would be asking around some SQL queries and basic puzzles a round would be around CV where they would be talking about your projects I think these are the three major rounds I think that would be common everywhere with a little bit of uh, here and there in different companies so uh, one of the most important interviews uh, with my current organization so it started with the hacker rank test, then uh, followed by a hacker rank test was quite easy. I think it was basic machine learning, talking about which algorithm to use for classification and four options, easy. Uh, then the second round was a eight hour hackathon. The third round was a data science round where they ask about almost everything around machine learning analytics, SQL, etc. I think they covered all the major points, which I, it was a very wholesome round to be honest. And the last one was a CV round where they asked about my projects, what to expect, what problems that I face in my current uh, projects that I was working on. Uh, the next one that I had was the next uh, company that I interviewed was with LinkedIn. So this position was not purely for data science but for data science analytics. So it was more towards analytics rather than machine learning the interview. The first round was a hacker rank test with four SQL queries with intermediate difficulty. I think these SQL queries were quite tough. I was able to solve three of them and I got a call. The next round was around products analytics where I think a guy from LinkedIn was talking about a certain feature and asked me ask my reviews on that so i was not able to clear it but yeah the process was pretty good pretty clean i think they were pretty uh, informative as well beforehand only key what to expect in the next next round and it was a nice experience talking about cast 24 i think it's uh, quite usual they gave me a regression problem to be solved in three to four days a purely cv based round uh, with machine learning and statistics being asked and a puzzle and question also getting asked i usually get stuck on the puzzle questions so that is an issue that i face in my interview calls apart from that i got a call from ola the first round was ml heavy 
the second round i think i don't know it was a black sheep where i got a dsa round as well which was not in form so i performed quite badly on that because i'm not of that dsa guy uh same for blinkit or grofers whatever you know they gave a data science problem from the online repository which is already available and the next round was around how i solved the problem what are the few issues how i could have improved it that's it uh talking about games 24 i think this was the most unique experience and one of the most finest experience that i was looking for it was more research driven i think the first entry round was talking about machine learning and deep learning followed by bert and also followed by gans the discussion went at that level uh the third round was two assign three assignments that they gave me to be completed in 6 hours i think this was more of a cooker pressure challenge Uh, which was uh, like this included a research paper reading a research paper summarizing it a lot of things i think this could have been a little spacious uh to uh, so the third round was like explaining the assignments and what could have been done why i went with this particular solution these are problem statement as i have mentioned here uh, about some feature on the online payment app and how to like in given a covid situation how the ecom should be arranging its products as you can see these are the three problem statements that i got two problem statements and summarizing a research paper on football using video analytics so quite interesting i think it was a quite unique interview round the third was the next couple of rounds as i told you a discussion on the above three problem statements uh, apart from that i got a call from g2 i think one of the more, uh, major leaders in product review ranking so the first test was again a basic math and aptitude test followed by a, a round on my projects and my career aspirations the data science problem that i solved so i think this pretty much comprises what g2 had and it one of the best interview experiences i had the entire uh, the entire team was very nice and yeah our interview to remember to be very honest uh then i had a round of geoheptic as well which is a leading conversational ai firm in india the first one was, the first problem that they gave me was a nlp based data science problem followed by some advanced machine learning and deep learning interview questions i think this was a little tough as i can as you can see the line where i stopped reading a topic i think that interview started from that point engineering discussion also so this was one of the toughest interviews that i faced and chat based scenario question answering ki if you are to build a chat but how you will go ahead because i think hg haptic is mostly a chat bot based service providers i got uh, the next is from simple a bnpl fintech in india again a data science in assignment given discussion on the assignment and the puzzle in round i think the last one include just the puzzle round which i failed badly uh the next one was play simple games i think one of the uh, one of the successful startups from india on in gaming so the first round was around match making in online play, play versus player games like how would you assign a random player to for match making one on one levels talking about the case study in basic machine learning and discussion with the co-founder on uh, like sort of product round ki if i want to build this how would you approach it uh, one of the most difficult parts that i faced was like getting a resume shortlisted because there is a number of people applying for the same job and puzzle questions no doubt i think apart from that the theoretical and coding rounds i'm pretty much well versed should i be joining an mnco startup i think given current scenario one thing to mention is that given the current scenario do assume that gen- generative ai questions would be there in your interview rounds apart from that given the current layoff scenes i think start- mnc's should be a more safer option compared to startup but yeah again everyone is firing so can't question is dsa cp required for data science interviews not sure i think at that time it wasn't and also my profile is very data science heavy it has research papers uh, blogs and book coming into the resume so it becomes really data science heavy if it is a generic profile i assume they might be asking but for me it was not the case thank you so much hope you land with your first job soon